ICSI has been tracking the flow of foreign fighters into the Syrian conflict for a number of months now. Last April, we published the first authoritative account of the numbers of European foreign fighters going over to participate in the conflict. Last December, we estimated that up to 11,000 foreign fighters are now participating in the conflict, of which up to 2,000 come from Europe. There are three urgent issues that government must now consider. The first is what powers are available to the security service and police in preventing and disrupting the travel of would-be potential foreign fighters who wish to leave this country and travel abroad to participate in jihadist activity. The second is the reconfiguration of PREVENT, which must now reorientate and recalibrate itself to absorb returning foreign fighters from the conflict and seeking to explore ways of de-radicalizing them before they become a threat to this country. The third issue is reconfiguring our approach to the narrative. Traditionally, over the last decade, the Islamist narrative has been one of the West being at war with Islam, and it's that that Prevent has sought to damp down and to address. The narrative today is somewhat slightly different. It's an intra-Muslim discourse of Sunni v Shia, and it's that side which is now driving primarily the source of radicalization. So government must look into ways of dampening down tensions on that side. In the coming months, ICSL will be producing a series of reports looking at this issue, and we urge you to go to our website to read more about that.